Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. The family of a Florida man who was struck and killed by a police car has released a dash cam video of the moment of his death. And as you might expect, the video is graphic. On May 8th, Marlon Brown was being chased by police, all because they believed he wasn't wearing his seatbelt. When they reached a dead end road, Brown jumped out of his car and started running. The police continued to chase after him, but soon Brown slipped and one of the cars on his tail struck him. Last week in court, a grand jury decided not to indict the officer who hit Brown on a criminal charge of vehicular manslaughter. That's when Brown's family decided to release the terrifying dash cam footage. The family chose to go public with Marlon's story and the video of his death to rally public outrage. From there, they hope to pressure officials to file charges for his death. It was your loved one that you saw directly ran down by anyone. You would want justice. And I believe that we have the community, the public, and we're trying to get the world on our side. Brown's family says justice would mean criminal charges against Officer James Harris for killing him. Harris was fired after the incident and has refused to speak to reporters. The city of DeLand has already paid the family $550,000 in a settlement, but the city reportedly didn't admit to any wrongdoing. CNN reports DeLand police are conducting an internal review of the incident and have gone over more than 2,000 documents to determine whether appropriate tactics were used. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.